Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a new moon reading for all signs. I decided to do it this way this time. It's been a while, huh? It's been a while since you guys have seen me, so I figured I would uh, go ahead and do it this way. You'll be seeing my face mostly. I'll show the, the uh, predominant cards as they come up. Pardon the animals, you know, they... <laughs> <clears throat> sometimes go a little crazy so anyway what does this new moon have to bring in for you um i want to i want to say it has something to do with gratitude as i sit here and think and i've been thinking the last couple of days it's all about gratitude it is it's all about being grateful for what you have and grateful for even what has been lost for what it has been brought to you um, in the form of wisdom so I feel like uh, this is a time of gratitude and with that I want to say thank you to all of you that have stuck with me those of you that have left because you didn't like the truth <clears throat> you didn't want to hear what I had to say and came back after it didn't pan out you know after what Ever it was that you didn't want to hear, you know, uh, didn't pan out and you've come back. I have noticed a few. So thank you for coming back. And for those of you that have stuck with me that have seen, you know, the messages that I'm giving are not based on any type of illusion whatsoever. I guess it's hard to explain other than, you know, I guess what I really want to say is thank you for those of you that are aware of what the truth is and thank you to those of you that have come back after becoming aware of what the truth is um, and for those of you that do understand you know that a tarot reading is an opportunity for you to dig deeper into your psyche you know when you watch the reading it's it's meant to uh, cause you to look at things at a deeper level what are you missing you know what have you been missing what have you been ignoring what has been an illusion what are you resisting okay this is these readings are meant to uh, make you look deeper they're meant to make you look deeper and into your situation what is it that you are ignoring what is it that is just a fantasy now I, I realize that I, I have a lot of competition and I got a lot of uh, people that don't, that, you know, we are definitely not on the same level, okay? We're not on the same level as far as reality versus illusion, you know? And I do realize that the darkness is bigger than the light unfortunately and all I can do is do my best to help people decipher illusion from truth okay so so anyhow why that is coming out I do not know but it is it's interesting because I did a new moon reading yesterday and it was we had the justice justice and the ace of swords they came out right together it's all about the truth. It's about accepting the truth, acknowledging the truth, being honest with yourself. So anyway, what does this new moon have in store for you? Now, keeping in mind that new moon energies can play out over a period of time. Okay, so what do we have for Aries? I'm going to use a couple of different decks here. What do we have for Aries? <laughs> the Fool. So the Fool is starting with a clean slate, right? This is a new journey begins. Starting a brand new journey, you will be. This is exciting. This is uh, starting a new chapter. Leaving something behind. 
I mean, The Fool is starting from scratch. So you will be starting a new journey, leaving something behind. Uh, let's get one more. Let's get one more of these. Have no fear. You, this is like, this is letting, leaving fear behind. Just doing it. Just doing something spontaneous. It's exciting. It's basically an exciting new journey begins. Ah! Justice. So justice, justice is the truth. It's a fair and just decision. Decision. This is making a decision based on the facts, based on the truth. Some of you could be dealing with a contract, a legal contract, um, or there could even be news of legalities. This could be the end of a contract or changes in a contract. Could be a new contract with the fool next to the justice. You may be embarking on a on a new contract a new journey where you know there's going to be an alignment justice is an alignment right it's a, it's getting what you deserve so i feel like we have a new contract here uh, a definite decision is being made leaving something behind because the fool starts a new journey with all without all of that Okay, just takes the experiences and starts over. So I believe that we do have a new journey beginning. Some sort of truth. Maybe it's like, maybe it's, an, it's something to do with truth and justice and uh, getting what you deserve. Ah, five of wands. There could be some sort of conflict, tension, competition. King of Cups, reverse. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There could be emotional withdrawal here. Secrets. Um, somebody that doesn't have good intentions. You may be fighting with this person. You know, that which causes a decision to be made. I mean, this is could definitely be fighting, conflict, tension, tense situation. Maybe with a water sign. That could be what's coming to an end. Um, a final decision is going to be made. There may be a fight that, that uh, sends somebody down the road, you know, with that Fool card. Because the Fool is only taking a little bag, right? That's it. Ace of Swords. Here we got the truth. Now, it's interesting that I mentioned at the beginning we had Justice and the Ace of Swords. You got it too. So this is the clarity. This is the truth. This is an awakening. This is seeing it very, very clearly. Some sort of information coming out or seeing the truth. Taking a new approach. Uh, severing ties, I believe, because that is the sword that cuts. Um, you may be cutting somebody out. It's a very tense situation. Um, some sort of truth is definitely coming out, whether you're speaking the truth or there's a pif an epiphany or whatnot. Um, mm, lovers reverse. This may be a separation, a detachment from somebody that you are not compatible with. It does look to me like you will be detaching from a partnership um, because of some sort of truth that comes out or an epiphany whoever you're dealing with is emotionally withdrawn or they're keeping secrets or um doesn't have good intentions now i don't know if this is a partnership or somebody that is in your in your arena for another reason this is somebody that um likes to fight or or is bringing a, bringing a lot of tension into your life. I feel like this person is highly, highly competitive, you know, and I feel like there's just so much disharmony. I mean, the lovers reversed is disharmony, okay? And I say detaching from this person. This person uses emotions to get what they want, to get what they're wet, get their own way. They may uh, throw, you know, little emotional fits, you know. Hmm. Um, Ten of Cups reversed. Ten of Cups reversed is a dying dream. It's leaving home. It's an unhappy relationship. I'm sorry, uh, but I feel like there's a relationship here where there's been a lot of stormy weather. There's been uh, a lot of disharmony. It's right next to the lovers reversed. There, And I feel like there, we, there's definitely going to be a de 
a disconnection from this relationship. I feel like there has to, there's a family issue going on here as well. The Ten of Cups is about home and family. There may be a change of residence. That fool would, would signify that as well because that is starting a brand new journey, a brand new journey. And it's, it's doing the right thing. You know, justice is about being honest and upfront and making a decision, you know, based on the truth. Next to justice is the Ace of Swords. So there will be a decision that is made. It is a fair and just decision. We do have, I feel like it's a water sign energy here that is, um, I feel like this person has been hiding something for you or they've just been uh, causing a lot of drama. The five of wands is drama here. And this could be just somebody that has a lot of water in their chart, okay? Um, some of you may also be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra. Um, the lover's reverse is a disconnection. It is a detachment from a relationship where there's, I feel like there's been a lot of secrets, okay? There's been a lot of secrets. Let's get another card. Ah, in the future, in the future, after the disconnection, okay, so we got the lovers and this is gonna, okay, after that disconnection, there is a union. There is a partnership. There is a that's compatible. This is this is a perfect match, right? This is a compatible union. So we go from disconnection to connection. So I feel like you're going to be disconnecting from somebody and connecting with somebody that is more compatible. This is a spiritual union. It's a spiritual connection. It's somebody that you see eye to eye with, that you have a lot in common with. So I think that we have disconnecting from a partnership that there's, I feel like there's communication issues, there's deception, there's fighting, there's conflict, there's drama. Disconnecting from that one and connecting with something that is more aligned because justice is alignment and this two of cups is alignment. You're going to be connecting with somebody. You're going to be connecting with somebody that is more aligned with your soul. So I think you're leaving something behind with that fool card that has caused a lot of conflict and tension in your life. I feel like the decision is being made. Uh, I think it's, I think it's, I feel like it's bittersweet, okay? Um, I feel like there's, there's a dying dream here with the Ten of Cups reversed. There's some sort of family issues and you're seeing something very, very clearly. Or there's some sort of information that comes out that, you know, causes some sort of separation. The lover's reverse is a, is a disconnection, separation, detachment. But in the future, we have a new union. We have, we have a happy couple. We have uh, a connection that is deep in the future. So I feel like that's, what, that's what's going on for you. I feel like you're, you are about to experience, well, that fool card is goodbye. It is, it's goodbye to the past. It is, it's goodbye. It is a goodbye, okay? It's a goodbye to something starting over doing the right thing and getting what you deserve. Justice is about getting what you deserve. You're gonna be getting a partnership that you deserve after a detachment from something. And that's what I got for Aries. And what do we got for Taurus? the chariot so the chariot is victory right this is taking charge getting in the driver's seat going somewhere traveling perhaps this is a card of discipline and willpower okay so it could also be a journey you may be taking a journey or somebody may be traveling towards you could be dealing with a cancer um, there's some sort of movement here. Things are happening, facing opposition. Somebody is getting in the driver's seat. They're going somewhere. Um, there's no fear here. Um, could be traveling, like something long distance even. What do we got for Taurus? 
the magician so as above so below getting something that you asked for something that you manifested it's action time so something that you manifested is coming in it's coming in um there's gonna this is like traveling traveling going somewhere going somewhere fast the answer is yes new beginnings here with that magician card this is uh, you, this is discipline a lot of discipline so because the magician um is willing to do whatever it takes to become successful and so isn't the chariot so you're this is finding the discipline to do whatever it takes to make something happen so I don't know if somebody is coming towards you or you're just finding your inner discipline to take charge. Anyhow, the magician is getting what you asked for as above, so below. Be careful with your thoughts because you are manifesting at this time. Whatever, whatever it is that you're thinking is coming. Mm. All right, so magician as above, so below. Yeah, the answer is yes, this is what you asked for. Mm. Now, the magician is a position of power, okay? You may be in a position of power. You're really, this is a divine connection to source, highly aware. You may be getting some sort of epiphany or something like that, but there may be some sort of communication that is coming in fast. Definitely forward movement. What do we got for Taurus? Oh, of course, they're doing something outside never fails ah the emperor reversed the emperor reversed the emperor reversed is uh, corrupt some sort of corrupt leader could have father issues something to do with the father um, maybe there was no father uh, could also be dealing with a masculine that is very very controlling um, maybe this person has deserted you could be dealing with an Aries we also have cancer we have Gemini um, Emperor reversed disorder I don't know if there's some sort of disorder or disorganization there's a need to take charge something is coming into your life I feel like you're gonna need to be strong you need to take charge you need to be ready Ah, Three of Swords. Three of Swords is heartache, heart pain, grief, suffering. I wonder if somebody has hurt you, they deserted you in your time of need. The Emperor reversed is underneath that chariot, so it's below. This may be somebody that uh, abused you or neglected you or didn't take care of you. This person may be hurting. The Three of Swords is here. You may be hurting. The Three of Swords is painful. It hurts. But above it is the chariot. So that is making a move, facing opposition. I don't know if, if you have somebody here that is really thinking. They're thinking about the hurt that they caused. And it's action time with the chariot and the magician. So there is some sort of action that is being taken, whether it's being taken by you or somebody else. I mean, you have Aries here, Gemini, and Cancer. Mm -mm. There's pain, there's heartache, there's grieving. Somebody is grieving. Mm. Queen of Cups, reverse. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio woman involved. Um, Emotionally manipulative, emotionally withdrawn, um, and I say emotionally manipulative because I put it right next to magi magician. Magician's a manipulator, just saying. So there's some sort of sadness. There's tears here as well. Somebody because it's it's also next to the three of swords. So we have tears, we have crying, we have heartache, we have grief. I don't know if you're going to be experiencing a loss. Um, the magician is as above, so below, getting what you ask for. Your thoughts become things. Pay attention to your thoughts. You've manifested something. You have manifested something. There's also somebody here that is in a great deal of pain.
Mm. Six of Wands. Six of Wands is victory after sorrow. It's facing fears. It's done. Done playing games. Done with the competition. Um, battle is over. The fight is over. It's time to relax. Getting some sort of recognition. You may be getting some sort of recognition from somebody. This is a hero. This is a fighter. This is a warrior. This is somebody that is noble. That is ready. They're ready to do the right thing or they're just done. They're just done playing games. The Six of Wands is victory after sorrow. It's getting some sort of recognition. Some sort of maybe even public recognition. This is a... Congratulations of some sort. You're getting what you asked for. And I hate to say that because there's pain involved with it. This is getting recognition. This is yes. This is what you asked for. But there's sadness involved with it because the Queen of Cups is reversed. The Three of Swords is reversed. We have somebody here that is going to be doing something noble. This is a warrior. This is a fighter. This is somebody who doesn't give up when the going gets rough. This person has a proven track record of success. We do have success here. We do have success. The Chariot, the Magician, and the Six of Wands. So this is yes, yes. Somebody has been uh, using their emotions to hurt other people. But now there's some sort of recognition. There's grieving. There's grieving here. Grieving over loss. Whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. There is another woman involved. Or there is a woman involved. This woman is... I don't know if she's jealous or she's vindictive. But this warrior... I feel like this warrior is... Uh, turning his back on this woman leaving it behind you know yeah that's what it looks like the answer is yes anyway because the magician is here and that's a yes the answer getting what you asked for maybe you've been waiting you've been suffering you've been in some sort of pain over some sort of neglect with that emperor reversed six of wands is victory though it's 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 Yes, this is you're getting some sort of recognition. We do have a battle that's ending, Taurus. Okay, there's a conflict that's going to be ending in your life. There's been drama, there's been tension, there's been competition. It is coming to an end, and it looks like you're going to win because that Six of Wands is winning. You win, you win, you win. Yes, you win. We may also have somebody here that has been in their emotions. They've been it's sobbing almost. It like it really hurts. It, it's painful. They've been struggling to master their emotions and take action, maybe because they didn't want to be in the spotlight or, you know, it takes a lot of effort to deal with the ego. I mean, the Six of Wands can be ego. It can be somebody that was in their ego. Anyhow, I do believe you're about to see some movement. There's victory here. Definitely victory with Chariot and the Six of Wands. It's like you win. A conflict, competition, uh, a tense situation is definitely coming to an end. Somebody here, they, I feel like they abused you or they deserted you when you needed them. They hurt you. They broke your heart. I feel like this person, um, because I feel like there's been, there was a woman involved that may have, I don't know if this woman gave poor advice or that's what it looks like to me. Maybe she was in her emotions and she gave poor advice. And now this person is, is done playing with that woman, is done, is done playing. I don't know who this woman is, um, but there's definitely a woman here that I feel like she's been manipulating the situation. I think she was jealous. Maybe jealous of your success. We have the Queen of Cups reversed next to the Six of Wands. That's jealous of success. So yeah, I feel like we have a woman that was jealous of your success and, and she's caused some sort of issues, but there's an awareness here. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to stop playing games. Um, we have somebody here that didn't take their leadership role uh, seriously because the emperor reverse was in a leadership role and maybe didn't know how to be a leader or didn't know how to be a father or didn't know how to be the boss or or was too weak or was inexperienced or something like that but now we have a leader with the six of wands so we go from 
not knowing what to do, giving power away to somebody else, to taking it back. So I feel like there's a masculine here, because that emperor is masculine, I don't care what any of you say, that is taking back their power. It's under, it's un, the, the emperor reversed is underneath the chariot in the, in the magician card. So this emperor is taking back the power, even though it hurts. This is there is a separation here, because the three of swords is grieving. It's a, grieving over a separation, right? Um, there's an emotional loss, and now it's game over. It's like game over. I'm all done playing. This is somebody that is coming in. I feel like you've manifested this. Um, so yeah, that's what I got for Taurus. There's victory here for you. The last card is victory after sorrow, and it makes complete sense so you are going to have some sort of victory um this is a warrior this is a hero this is somebody that is not going to let anything stop them this is a true leader right this is a leader this is somebody who's all done with the, the games and the conflict gemini i just took a pause you know, I'm at a point where, uh, you know, when I gotta pause, I gotta pause. Maybe that's a message for you. I was hoping that, you know, they would just move on, but they aren't. So the show must go on, right? The show must go on. So here we are. Talking about the uh, landscapers over there. They always come at the worst time. Whatever. Anyhow, what about Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? You know, when I gotta pause, I gotta pause. It's always for a reason, right? What is this new moon bringing in for Gemini? The moon. So the moon is an unclear and difficult path ahead. The moon can be deception, it can be lies, right? Because it's covered with a shadow. What you see is not what you get. So it could be dealing with the Pisces, could be dealing with the Cancer, but whenever the moon comes out, you have to be careful. You need to look deeper. You need to look deep at situations. The surface is not going to give you the full story. All is not as it seems, okay? All is not as it seems. <clears throat> Justice. Justice is truth, alignment, decision. You need to be careful. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to need to be careful with a decision that you make. Be careful that you are not in any type of illusion. Be careful that you are seeing it clearly. Make sure that you are digging deep to the truth. Make sure that you are seeing the truth, okay? <clears throat> could be dealing with the Pisces, could be dealing with the Libra. Um, fair and just decision is being made. This has something to do with a contract of some sort. Could be an illusion, okay, there has, or there has been. Um, I do want to say beware. Beware of the decisions that you make, okay, because there may be some long-lasting consequences because justice is a card of consequences, okay? Um, there is an unclear and difficult path ahead in which you're going to need to, you probably are going to need to It's use your intuition, but also honor the facts, honor the truth, okay? Make sure that you're not letting any type of illusion or fantasy hinder that truth. Justice is getting what you deserve. Something may be going in your favor. A decision may be going in your favor. But I want to say you need to really be careful. <clears throat> what do we have for Gemini? Gemini. 
Ace of Cups reverse. Now the Ace of Cups reverse is sadness. It's emotional shutdown. It's emotional loss. Tears, right? I wonder if somebody is, is crying, you know, they're crying over a loss. Could be somebody in your past. The moon uh, can represent, sorry, I sit on that, uh, the past, okay? There could be somebody in the past that is crying. Could be you that's crying. There's tears, there's sadness. Uh, six of Swords, Six of Swords is moving to a better place, going somewhere, traveling. It's a time of transition. So somebody is going somewhere. They're traveling away from a sad situation. Behind it is the Ace of Cups. Somebody is leaving a sad situation behind. There's obviously been some sort of lies, deception because of that moon card. Okay, there's been something was hidden, right? Because the surface looked beautiful. That was very mysterious, right? Anyhow, the Six of Cups. I mean, the Six of Cups is not here. The Six of Cups has to do with the past. Anyhow, Six of Swords is the rite of passage, moving on from a, an, a love or uh, sad times, leaving something behind that, I don't know if it's broken your heart or it was some sort of illusion. Underneath the Justice card is the Six of Swords. That is doing the right thing, making a firm decision, to move on so somebody is moving on from a situation where there may be no reciprocation or there's been a lot of deception there's been some sort of secrets mm -hmm. magician reversed so this is no success not taking any action there could be some sort of abuse here an abuse of power um, manipulation trickster somebody may be dealing with a trickster let's get another card lack of resources doing something uh, sneaky shady there's definitely a shady individual here this person uh, I don't know if this person is headed towards you you may have to say no. You may have to say no. That that justice card is right next to the magician reverse. That is a decision and the magician reverse is a no answer. It's a no answer. Be careful with your decisions. You may have to say no. It may be, it may be heartbreaking to say no because of that ace of cups reversed. Two of Wands at that crossroads, right? That's at that point, you know. It's like it's it's like you. It, there's an opportunity to go down a path that you've never been down, but there's a a choice between the past and the future, right? You want to go down the path you've always traveled, or do you want to go down another path? This is definitely a decision that you're going to have to make during this time. Um, uh, you're at that point where you're going to be put in a position where you have to make a choice. It may be if you may be it may be a, a tough choice with that with that moon card because I feel like there's some sort of deep feelings here. Ace of Cups reversed underneath it. Deep feelings. You know, Six of Swords moving on. Moving on from something that is, uh, it seems to be like it's an illusion, but you love it. You know, or you did love it or something like that. Making a decision to move on. It's a difficult decision. <clears throat> The world. Now the world is a major completion. It's the end of a cycle. It's the end of a journey. That cycle of your life is over. That phase of your life is over. It appears that the answer is no. Making a decision to go down a path you've never gone down before. 
So I feel like uh, I feel like you you may be moving on from a trickster. Okay, somebody that has manipulated you. They've lied to you. They they uh, abused you in some way. It's over. So we do have a big, big phase of your life that is over. This is this is something coming full circle. Time's up. That journey is over. That cycle is over. Uh, some of you are, are completing a big project or a big phase in your life. Could have to do with a career, a relationship, or schooling, or whatever it is. A big phase of your life is over. You are going to be moving somewhere or going somewhere. Or somebody is headed towards you that... Uh, I honestly feel, I, I feel like this person has lied to you. You know, they, I mean, we have the moon and the magician reverse. There's definitely a liar here, but it's the end of that phase. I feel like uh, you are going to be choosing some of you are going to be expanding yourself. Typically in the two of wands, we have the world card. Not, I mean, the world, the, the world is usually in the card. It doesn't happen to be in this one, which is weird. But anyhow, the world is here. So this is, that's expansion. Some of you may be even traveling to another destination, you know, a change of residence or somebody is headed towards you or there's going to be a change in your living situation. We have moving a couple times here, uh, expanding yourself, maybe even expanding yourself globally, um, getting some sort of public recognition as well. Some of you may be, you may be uh, working for the public or making a decision to... Um, well, this is travel down a path that you have never traveled down. You're going to need to let go of your fears. You're going to need to master your emotions. This is a big, 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 big decision. Some of you may be getting an offer from somebody that gives you an opportunity to travel or move. I feel like you're, you're going to have to face your fears and you're going to have to... Uh, make a logical decision there's an opportunity to leave something behind that has caused you a lot of heartache i mean i can't make that up okay so i think that you're going to need to find your inner resources that you may be lacking at this time to accept the truth about probably somebody that has been lying to you because of that uh, moon card right there. I mean that is deception. I think that you are going to be uh, at a point where you know we you make a choice to say goodbye to a, a troublesome situation that you have been struggling to see it for what it is because of that moon okay um the world is the end okay it's the end of a big cycle it's leaving everything behind right that fool i mean not the fool but i said the fool so starting a new chapter this is starting a new journey as well it's the end of one journey and the beginning of another i think that you have a you have a major completion in your life i think it's big i think it's huge it's huge it's something big one phase of your life is completely over and it, this is freedom this is freedom. It's freedom from from the past, right? It's leaving it all behind. And I feel like it could be a spur of the moment decision. Whenever I see the two of the two of wands, I feel like it happens suddenly. I do. I just feel like you're you're just going about your business, right? And then all of a sudden you're at that point where it's like shit. Shit. You have an exciting new opportunity that is, is going to be presented to you. This could bring you some sort of recognition, maybe even fame. I'm not sure. Um, but it's, it's like, it's a tough decision. It's a tough decision to move on. It is. So anyway, Gemini, I feel like you're going to be receiving an exciting opportunity because of that two of wands has the ace of wands. And now I got one of the wands covered up. So that is a new opportunity. It's exciting. This is exciting. It can break you free from some sort of manipulative situation. I feel like there's definitely been manipulation here. Um, 
but it's it's a tough decision it's a very very tough decision um, so Gemini that is what I have for you ah the fool yeah you're gonna be starting a new journey Gemini is going to be starting over. They're going to be starting a brand new journey. This is uh, this is exciting. It is for some of you. There is travel. There's travel involved or change of residence. It's very it's very spur of the moment. I knew that it was cancer. What do we have for cancer? The devil, the devil, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, doesn't have to be, but the devil doesn't bring anything good. It does for a minute, maybe even a little while. It makes you high, then it brings you down. So the devil, the devil, the devil is demons, it's, it's desires, it's temptation, it's lust, it's greed. So you're going to be dealing with some sort of temptation. We have a cage here. It feels like you're you're choosing to stay in a situation that you can break free from. You're choosing to. Oh no, it's not me. Oh yes it is. Now this could be an addiction. This this could be an addiction, a codependency. It's like the door is wide open. You can get out of there. You can break free. All you got to do is fly. All you got to do is go. You need to face your fears. You need to, you need to face your own demons. So yeah, you're probably going to be facing some demons. Things are probably going to get hot. I got chills. What do we got for cancer? Ooh, the emperor, the emperor. So the emperor is a boss, father, judge. Uh, getting organized. Uh, this is about structure, stability, putting plans in action. This is be ready. This is battle ready. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready for some sort of battle. Be ready. You're going to need to find the discipline to break free from something. And I don't know if there's a judge getting involved. The emperor is a ruler, a king, a judge, a master. Okay, this is somebody who makes decisions based on the facts. We have some demons here. Right? Could be dealing with Capricorn, could be dealing with an Aries, but could also be dealing with just a very masculine energy. Okay, this is a masculine that is making a decision and it has to do with the facts. This is somebody that has a very hard shell. Okay, this is, this is somebody that is seeing something. This is a very wise individual that is seeing something. They're seeing a toxic energy. They're seeing it very, very clearly. So a decision is being made about an addiction or a codependent situation. It's taking charge, gaining control, taking control of a situation. Maybe you're taking back control. Maybe you're going to take charge of your life in some way. Take charge of an addiction. Take charge of, an, of a codependent situation. There's some sort of... You know, we have a cage here, so I don't know if there's prison or jail or something like that. There's chains, you know, and this could be mind in the mind, okay? This, it's time to take charge, okay? Either you take charge or the a decision may be made for you. Now the emperor is the boss, you know, maybe you're being the boss, maybe you're, maybe you're taking control or there is a boss here that is taking control. There's definitely some sort of addictions here. Devil, you can't make that shit up. Okay. Ah, nine of swords. So this is like depression, anxiety, worry, fear, regrets. We got somebody here that needs to face their demons. It's going underneath that devil. They need to face their demons, whether it's an addiction or drugs or a person or whatnot. 
all it is is causing anxiety and stress. I think that we have somebody here that needs help. There's some sort of mental conflict, mental turmoil here. It's like I'm stuck in this situation. What am I going to do? You have to you have to take charge. Mm. King of Cups. So King of Cups acts on feelings. It's given to follow the heart, listen to the intuition, right? Underneath the Emperor. So we have somebody here. We have a masculine in energy here that is going to be taking charge. This person is highly intuitive. This person is a lover. Maybe it's you. Could be somebody else. This person is going to be mastering their emotions. They are going to be taking charge. They've been thinking a lot. Maybe, maybe it's you thinking a lot about your demons, having a lot of regrets. There's definitely re regrets. There's anxiety. It's, oh my God, how am I going to do this? There's fear. There's ego in the way. Because that's the devil. Somebody, it's like they have an opportunity to uh, take charge, but they've been struggling mentally to do so. We got the devil, the emperor, the nine of swords. It's like the door is wide open to face your demons, to face your fears, to face your ego. All you got to do is, is make a decision or somebody else is going to based on the facts. Follow the heart. Listen to the heart. Somebody's going to be doing something. They're going to be making a decision based on the facts, but also from their heart. Their intuition is guiding them. Oh, we got two. Whew. King of Swords and the Four of Pentacles reverse. So the King of Swords is a firm decision. And this could be a judge. It could be legalities, news of legalities, or somebody in the legal system. It could be somebody in protection services or somebody that is a professional. This, this is a person that sits in a position of authority that is... Uh, makes decisions based on the facts and we have that with the emperor as well so this is somebody that could definitely be a boss or a father or a judge um, could also be a doctor or uh, somebody in protection you know or a director or something like that anyhow uh, king of swords making a tough decision now the four of pentacles reverse is a release it is let go Somebody has been obsessed. They've been obsessed with holding on to something. They've been uh, holding on for dear life. There is going to be a release of some sort, okay? They've been very stubborn. The Four of Pentacles is upright. I'm very stubborn. I'm not letting go. I'm not changing. Very, very uh, set in their ways, okay? But there is going to be a release with that Four of Pentacles reverse. That is opening up. It's releasing, letting go. Something is being let go. A decision is being made. So a boss may be letting somebody go because of their addictions. Because they they can't face their addictions. They can't deal with it. They're, or they're just... Maybe there's some mental turmoil here. You know, addictions cause everything to go downhill. There's several men here, too. There's several people involved. I mean, we have the Emperor, the King of Swords, the King of Cups. We may have somebody here that, I don't know if we even have a sex addiction here, or we have a, you know, a same-sex situation here. Somebody may be opening up. I do believe that, or coming out, is that what that's called? Anyhow, uh, King of Swords, King of Swords is speaking the truth, telling the truth, admitting things, opening up. Now, this doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to be. There's fear. Somebody's going to, somebody's letting go of their fear. They're going to be taking charge. They're going to be uh, making a difficult decision to let something go that. Is causing them a lot of stress, put it that way. And it could be costing them money, okay? There could be some financial loss here. And that, you know, somebody may be uh, making a decision to let somebody go because of, of their addictions and it's costing them. Um, we definitely have a codependent situation here that is causing a lot of stress. It's causing a lot of anxiety and worry, okay?
Then we, I don't know if we even have a team that is getting together. I mean, we have the Emperor, the, the Knight of Swords, and the King of Cups. This could be three people that are collaborating, you know, and they're coming up with a decision. A decision is being made. A decision is being made, and this does have to do with the release. Somebody is being let go, or they're going to be letting go of something. Um... It's time to it's time to let go. It's time to release. Hermit reverse. The hermit reverse. I don't know if somebody needs rehab. This may be a rejection. Um, a need to go within. A need to do some soul searching. A need to heal. A need to, to, for Plan B. Um, Coming out of hiding, coming out of hiding. So somebody has been hiding something. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that is doing something, taking action. Very spontaneous, very impulsive. This is somebody that is taking control. Somebody is going to be taking control of the situation. They may be opening up. They may be saying something that causes some sort of release. This Queen of Wands, she has no fear. Maybe that's your energy. Maybe you're going to be finding a way to uh, take action and let something go. Maybe you're going to be making a decision to let something go. Finding your inner strength, your courage, your willpower to let go of something. There's, there's loneliness here. There's a lot of loneliness. Maybe it's due to disillusionment. There's acceptance of the truth, seeing the truth. A uh, decision is being made. This, this, there's been a lot of stress. There's been a lot of anxiety. Somebody's been tied to a codependent situation. Maybe they get let go or, or they lose something of value that they were holding on to that, you know, forces them to own up, forces them to take action, forces them to find their discipline and their willpower. I mean, I do believe that there is, uh, maybe there's a woman here that is going to be helping you to, um, <laughs> I don't know, let go of something because that four of pentacles is right underneath it. That's relax, relax. There's a need to relax. There's a need to open up. There's a need to heal. There's healing that is needed here. I feel like we have somebody here that is self-medicating. I feel like they're self-medicating and it's, it's caught, maybe it's, it's affecting their work, you know? I do believe that we have a team of people that are collaborating. And I say that now because we have the Three of Wands. This is a team. We have a team of people that are collaborating and they may be investigating something. I would say that you will find strength and courage and willpower at the end of whatever this is. I feel like this is a change in vibration. I feel like at the end of this release, whatever it is, once you break free from whatever this is, you're going to be a, of a higher vibration. So whatever is happening, I feel like there's a team of people that are making a judgment call. Maybe this will send somebody to rehab or I don't know if it's prison or jail. I mean, I don't know what this is, but I feel like it's it's like needing to heal big time, needing to heal, needing to open up, needing to accept the truth, needing to be honest with yourself, needing to break free from some sort of trauma bond or whatever it is that is causing you so much loss. Um, but at the end of this, this is strong and uh, courageous and in a position of power. So I feel like I feel like there's a transition here. I feel, but but I feel like there's a team of people that are making a decision, and I feel like it's in your favor or not in your favor. You know, because that four of pentacles is is a is a is a loss of something. You know, something that you had, whether it's a job or it's a person or or it's money or whatever it is. Um, but it makes you stronger in the end. So I don't know. That's what I got. Good luck. Leo. What do we got for Leo? Mm. Oh, it's 
pretty beautiful. It's the birth of a new life. It's a rebirth. The Empress, look at that. It's beautiful, it's bountiful. It's beautiful. It's time. It's time. I mean, that is beautiful. It's a blessing. Take a look at that. This is blessings. It's beautiful. It's the birth. It's a renewal. Beautiful. A beautiful new baby. It's bountiful. It's harvest time. It's time. This is so beautiful. This is being loved and cared for. It's tender love and care. It could even be self-love. Giving birth to a new life. Could be also dealing with an empress, uh, Taurus or Libra. Could also be your energy, but this is definitely a very nurturing, uh, motherly, caring energy. <clears throat> wish fulfillment, I wish being granted. This is what you asked for. This is beautiful. This is a, definitely a blessing. I can't make that shit up either. This is a blessing. This is this is a gift, okay? This is a gift. This is yes. Okay, this is beautiful. So this is a, a wish being granted. This is a time of hope and inspiration and guaranteed success where there is love and abundance, right? Because the Empress is the goddess of, of love and abundance. It is time. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Shining star. You know, there could be even some fame that is coming. You may be dealing with somebody that's famous. I'm not sure. We have a star here. Um, blessings, unexpected help arriving. There's some sort of unexpected help or you're just giving birth. You know, you're giving birth to a new life. You're going through a, a, some sort of renewal of some sort. Um, the stars are aligned for you to have this blessing, whatever this blessing is. What do we got for Leo? If we have a... I want to say, I keep looking at that baby. He's like, oh, baby. Ooh. Strength. Strength. Strength is a card of courage and willpower and discipline and looking really good. I really feel like you must be glowing or you're going to be. If things have been rough, I really feel like they're going to get better. Okay, this is like, wow. <laughs> um, the strength card in a position of power. This, a very graceful, beautiful energy. I can't even make that shit up. I mean, we got, this, we got the Empress, the Star, and the strength card. Okay? This is like really confident energy. It's beautiful. It's, it is. I mean... Ah, of course. <laughs> the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles reverse. And the Fool is starting a new journey. So that's good. That's exciting. It's doing something on a whim. It's all of a sudden. It's, it's crazy energy, right? It's just like, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. But the Ace of Pentacles is letting something go as well. That is a lost opportunity. It's a missed opportunity. It's letting something go that isn't real, isn't solid, isn't stable. Um doing something on a whim that the fool comes after the strength card uh, finding your your ability to control your emotions going through a massive change a massive rebirth definitely being divinely guided the star card is divine guidance it's heaven sent this is a blessing starting over from scratch the ace of pentacles reverse is a loss right it is a loss. It's an unplanned loss or it's a, or it's a release or letting something go that isn't solid, isn't stable, isn't real. Finding the strength to let it go. Just letting it go. You're proudly stepping forward. No fear. I don't see any fear. We got the fool and I got the strength card. It's like, I am, I am going to do this. This is very strong energy. This is like being divinely guided to let something go or to being very or being divinely guided to you know give birth to this new life being guided to just release and deal with whatever pain that comes with it and receiving a blessing 
even though the ace of pentacles reverse is letting something go that isn't solid that isn't real it takes a lot of strength and courage to do that it does especially when all anybody ever wants is that unconditional love and that's what the empress is right the empress is unconditional love so you know when you want unconditional love you gotta let go of things that don't serve you to have it otherwise you're gonna lack especially if you hold on to things that don't reciprocate or don't have your best interest at heart the empress does everything with love therefore she receives a blessing everybody she's shining we definitely have a shiner here okay we definitely have somebody here that is glowing and shining and in a position of power and about to receive a big huge blessing but it does come after or there is a release here maybe this comes in and you are and you have to find your strength to let go maybe it's even let go of your insecurities face your fears or something that is holding you back financially because the ace of pentacles is like a, it could be a financial blockage right maybe there's something that is holding you back financially from starting this new life maybe maybe you don't feel adequate or you don't want to let go of that job or you don't want to let go of that you know place or whatever it is but everybody wants to help the empress right everybody will flock to her and give her help because she's a mother and they see they see her devotion yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. hermit reversed now the hermit reversed is uh okay Hold on, it can mean many things. This could be a rejection, but it could also be loneliness. We could be dealing with a Virgo. We have Aquarius. We have Taurus and Libra. We also have Leo and Aries. Uh, the Hermit Reverse can be time to reconnect. It can be like... You need to let go of your insecurities. It's time to reconnect. It's time to socialize. It's time to get out there. Ooh. The Empress reverse. There may be another woman here. There may be another woman here who is not an Empress, who isn't very nurturing, that isn't very caring, that isn't very gentle. Um, maybe a mother or a mother-in-law or, or an ex or something like that. And there may be somebody here that has been holding on to this woman. They are going to be releasing this woman. There is going to be a reconnection here. This is going underneath the hermit reversed. I wonder if there's somebody that has been thinking a lot. There has been another woman involved and they're letting go of that woman. Or this is you that hasn't been ready. Maybe you haven't been ready to give birth or you haven't been nurturing yourself or you haven't been taking care of yourself or you haven't loved yourself and you didn't know your value, you didn't know your worth and maybe you've just been thinking a lot and you've been in some sort of pain. I mean, the hermit reversed is thinking, okay? Maybe there's a need to think. There's a need to reflect on your value, your worth. You need to think about your value. You need to think about your worth. To you, maybe you have to manifest. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles is about manifestation. It's reversed. Maybe you need to take a time out to manifest this blessing right now, because your wish will be granted. So if I was you, I'd, I'd if I was you, I'd, I'd start manifesting because you have the power to manifest whatever you want right now. Okay, so you just keep that in mind. Okay, you have the power to manifest right now. Empress reverse, loss of loss of uh, termination of some sort, lack of love, lack of fertility, loneliness next to that hermit reversed. There's been some sort of lack of love here. Maybe it's a lot, lack of a mother's love or loss of a mother or something like that. We have somebody here who has not been taking care of herself. She may be, maybe she has sex without love, this woman, or she's not very caring. She's overprotective. Doesn't take care of her children, doesn't take care of her home, doesn't, she doesn't, she may be experiencing some sort of blockage. 
She needs to take a time out to reflect and think about her value. I mean, I can't make that shit up. So I don't know who this is, but somebody needs to take a time out to reflect and think about their value. Just saying. I don't know who that is. You may be you may be doing that. Maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe you're thinking about your value. I mean, the Empress, I've said it many times, she doesn't have sex without love. The Empress in reverse does. So anyhow, Leo, I feel like we have a new beginning here because of that fool and the, and, the, and the Empress. We have stepping into new territory, overcoming fears, receiving a blessing, getting what you are manifesting. And it's interesting because we have the Empress reverse, the Empress upright. You can manifest, uh, you know, something that isn't solid or you can manifest something that is. You have the power. You have the power to get whatever you want. Your wish is being granted, okay? Your wish is being granted, but you have to know your value, okay? If you want to go out and... I'm not saying that you all do, but if you want to go out and have sex with somebody who's emotionally unavailable, that is unstable, that just doesn't care, doesn't, doesn't value themselves, well, then that's what you're going to get. And I don't know where this message is coming from, but hey, or you can, you know, love yourself and manifest something that is solid, real, and true. I don't know why this is coming out for you, but it is. Anyhow, um... The Fool. The Fool is a new beginning, stepping into unknown territory. This is a new journey beginning. This is exactly what you asked for. Be strong. Master your emotions. You're in a position of power. Okay, a blessing is coming your way. Focus on your value. Wait. Wait for this blessing. You think about the Empress. The Empress has to wait for her blessing. She doesn't, she knows if that rushing is going to make it premature and it might not live, right? You can't, you can't rush into things. It won't, it might not live. You have to wait. So Leo, I feel like you need to take your time to manifest. You need to, you need to focus on your pain, your inner pain, whatever pain this is. And you need to focus on your value, okay? You need to focus on your value, okay? Whether you're dealing with you are, are a masculine that is dealing with a needy, greedy, selfish woman or you have in the past and that's who you've always chosen is women that don't take care of you, you know, because you've been in a hurry. You know, maybe that's what you need to change. If you are a mass, if you are a woman watching this, you need to you need to focus on your value. You need to think about what you're worth. You need to wait for somebody that is going to see your value. And if you don't see your value, do not expect anybody else to. Anyhow, Leo, I see a rebirth here. Okay, this is absolutely beautiful. This is an opportunity for wish fulfillment. Have no fear, seriously, have no fear, but also think about what you're worth. I, I, damn, 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 damn. I feel like you're gonna be letting go of somebody or they're gonna be letting go of you. Underneath the Empress reversed is the Ace of Pentacles, reversed. That is an unplanned loss, right? It's a loss. It is a loss. Or it's you deciding to let something go to have something more. Let's get one more card. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is at that crossroads, at that point, at that, this is a spur of the moment decision. You are going to be put in a position or somebody is that where they're making a choice, they're making a choice about which way to go. Two choices, two options, going down a new path. There's some sort of roadblock here. But there's an exciting opportunity right in front of you. There is an exciting opportunity probably for tender love and care. I feel like this, this, this new moon is bringing you an opportunity. 
maybe to start over from scratch, to start a new journey, to go someplace you've never been. We have the fool here. It's going to take strength and courage and faith, faith because of that strength or the uh, star card and the fool card you need to replace your fear with faith in you know if it if 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 it, if, if, if if this requires you to let go of something that isn't nurturing you or hasn't nurtured you or hasn't taken care of you then that's what you got to do So anyway, I feel like, Leo, you are going to be going through a rebirth. I do think it's going to be painful because of that Empress Reverse and the Empress Upright. That is a painful release with the Ace of Pentacles underneath it. It's a painful release of something, but receiving a blessing at the end of it, you are going to be receiving a blessing. But there's an unplanned loss that comes with it, unfortunately. What do we got for Virgo? The hermit. So the hermit goes within, right? Reflex. I think that you are reflecting right now. You're probably going through a period of soul searching. Maybe you're focusing on healing, focusing on yourself, um, taking a time out, uh, maybe uh, re-identifying uh, mm, the end. Death. So I feel like so for some of you, you've been in hermit mode, you've been thinking, you've been reflecting. I think that that period may be coming to an end because death is endings and new beginnings, right? It's a time of transition. It's a time of transformation. It's, it's uh, maybe it's the end of loneliness because the hermit is loneliness and the death card is the end. So maybe it's the end of loneliness for you. Uh, that's what just came out of my mouth, eh? So, what do we got for Virgo? Really thinking and contemplating about a new life. You know, thinking about your life. Thinking about, you know, things that have ended. And thinking about new beginnings. I think that you're really, really in deep thought about, you know, who you are. And where you want to go. And where you've been. So, uh, anyhow, what do we got? Ooh. Four of Wands. And Four of Wands is commitment, happiness, home, family, celebrating, right? Maybe you're just focused on your home. You're focused on your family. You're focused on, you know, committing to your own happiness. The Hermit is typically a loner, you know, somebody that is really focused on themselves right now. But the Four of Wands is family and home and commitment and happiness. Maybe even on your in your community. Um... Ten of Wands reverse underneath that death card. Ten of Wands reverse is a release. It's making a conscious change, dropping baggage, dropping weight, um, letting go of burdens. Uh, the end of holding on to something for sure. You are going to be letting something go because death is a release and so is a Ten of Wands reverse. A so releasing something. The end of some sort of burden in your life. I think that you've been working hard. You've been trying hard to, to do something. Maybe it's time to relax. The moon. The moon. So the moon is an unclear and difficult path ahead. There's hidden forces here. There's All is not as it seems. So I think that you do need to be careful. Uh, it could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, another Virgo. This has to do with commitment. It has to do with happiness. There is a release. Somebody is making a conscious change. Uh, they do want a new life. They're ready for a new life. There's some sort of uh, beware, though. Maybe somebody from the past, and I'm not, not you know, it could be anybody from the past. The moon card can represent the past. Um, Nine of Wands reversed. Next to the Ten of Wands reversed. Facing challenges. Giving up. 
giving up, admitting defeat in some way. But there's some, some somebody here that is going to be putting up some sort of fight. Mm -hmm. But we have giving up, giving up on on the on trying to prove something. Somebody's been trying to prove something. Fool reversed. Fool reversed is foolish. Pride next to the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is very prideful. Somebody may have lost something due to foolish pride. The fool reversed. Fear as well. We have a lot of fear here. Somebody is, 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 has been holding on to fear. There is going to be a change. Death is change. Releasing, releasing the fear. There is fear. You, there's, there's fear here. There is fear. There's fear with the Nine of Wands reversed, the Moon and the Fool reversed. There's fear of change. You need to let go of your fear. This has to do with commitment. Has to do with happiness. Has to do with, I don't know, for some of you, it may have to do with a reunion. Doesn't have to be the Four of Wands. This could may or may not be. Could be a family situation. The end of some sort of burden. Somebody has been holding on to a grudge or holding on to something or holding on to emotional baggage really in their feelings, maybe in a state of illusion, maybe too prideful. You know, the Nine of Wands reverse can be somebody that is extremely prideful with the Fool of Reverse next to it, foolish pride. Somebody, somebody is holding on to their, their ego or their pride is getting in the way of their happiness because the Four of Wands is happiness. High Priestess. High Priestess. So this is an inner knowing, knowing something. We have a highly intuitive individual here. Somebody that is intuitive that is going to be challenged in some way. There's some sort of challenge that is coming. I think that you may know that this is coming. You may know that this is coming. Somebody, somebody may want to start something with you. This is somebody that is highly, highly, highly intuitive for sure. There's some sort of... Uh, mystery about this it's a very mysterious situation mysterious connection here um i feel like you're gonna be surprised i feel like you're gonna be surprised i feel like there is somebody here that has been foolish i feel like this person is going to be uh letting go of some sort of burden or grudge they may want you to give them a chance and i don't even have the judgment card um, but I just feel like that's the case. Uh, on the bottom, I have the Eight of Cups, which is goodbye, dissatisfaction. Okay, this is goodbye. This is a necessary alteration. Somebody is leaving a dissatisfying situation. Um, you are about to be challenged by something. I feel like you're, there's going to be a lot of fear involved. Maybe you need to face your fears. You need to listen to your intuition for sure. Listen to your intuition. This has to do with a commitment or happiness or, or you know, some sort of uh, family situation. Letting go. Letting go of pride. <laughs> Somebody is letting go of their pride, which is crazy. The end of, the end of uh, loneliness is an unclear and difficult path ahead. You need to let go of your fears because of that fool reverse and the nine of wands reverse. You need in the ten of wands reverse. Let go of your emotional baggage. Let go of your fears. This is an opportunity for happiness. opportunity for happiness Virgo what can I say so this is like happily ever after so yeah something is happening I think that you knew that this was coming the answer is yes it is coming uh, there's going to be a change it's the end of loneliness for some of you if you are in a relationship now and there's been some sort of burden or baggage or power struggles you know uh There's going to be a change, put it that way, because that death card is profound life change. Your life is about to change. This is happiness. This is bliss. You need to let go of your fears. You need to, you need to let go of trying to prove any points as well, because that Ten of Wands reverse is like, there's nothing to prove here. Let go of it. Just let go of it to have happiness. Um... <laughs> 
some of you are dealing with an Aries, uh, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Making a conscious change. Somebody's making a conscious change. They're 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 gonna be uh, fighting for a relationship. They're being intuitively guided to do so. So yeah, that's what I got for Virgo. Happiness. There's happiness here. Libra. What do we got? Whoa. Fallout. <laughs> what do we got for Libra? Mm. A fallout. So this is a disrupt disruptive situation, right? It's it's a dismantling of a false sense of security. It's the universe that is forcing a change, okay? So you're going to be dealing with a major change in your life, okay? This may be, you know, within your body. You know, this could be an internal disruption. This could be in your living situation. It could be in a relationship. Um, it could be with your job. Whatever this is, this is, this is some sort of major change, a major, major, major change. Maybe a surprise. It may be a shock. This is an awakening. It is. It's. It, it's. It's typically. Uh, it's. It's huge. Okay. This is a huge uh, disruptive energy that forces someone to see the light. It forces someone to change. So there's there's some sort of forced change here, universally driven. There's something that is hidden that has been uh it's been able to uh stand up up until now but there, there's there's going to be there's going to be all of a sudden things happen and it happens really really fast it's light coming in light shedding shedding or well you see the light coming in the light is coming in it's going to be showing something okay and if there's lightning here there's there is some sort of lightning this is like a lightning bolt Things falling apart, breaking apart. But everything happens for a reason. So this is happening. So something is happening. And this is, and it may be disruptive. Okay. It definitely may be disruptive. It may not be what you asked for, but this is the wheel of fate spinning someone in a new direction. This is the end of a cycle. It's the end of a chapter in your life. Where there's been lies, there's been some sort of falseness. It's been unstable. There's some sort of instability here. It's been able to maintain up until now, but it can no longer be avoided. So this is a major disruption of some sort but this is positive change this is a this is good luck it's a lucky break so whatever is happening and this is a happening it is disruptive but it brings positive change into your life so there is positive change here um could be dealing with an aries could be dealing with a scorpio but it's mars energy um this may be some sort of lucky break you may not see it as a lucky break but That's what it looks like to me. I mean, and that's a lucky break. It is. We have a fortune. Fortunate. It is a fortunate. Whatever is happening, it's a blessing in disguise. Oh, what do we got for Libra? Hermit reversed. I don't know if there's been some sort of rejection or there is going to be a rejection. Um, hermit reversed. Midlife crisis, some sort. Uh, not very awakened. Lack of awareness. Need to go within. Need to this below. Needs to plan. Somebody needs to plan. They haven't been thinking. They there's some sort of falseness here. It's a false sense of security. Unaware.
unaware of the instability. Everything changes. Everything changes. Something is changing. Seven of Swords reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. This is getting caught. I wonder if somebody's getting caught doing something. There's been a lack of awareness here. That tower reverse is like something is hiding in there. there it's been hidden. It's going to be revealed. It is. Changes everything. Uh, Seven of Swords is getting caught. I believe somebody's going to be caught. They're doing something. Maybe they've been cheating or they've been lying or they've been stealing or something like that. Totally unaware that they're being deceived, though. There may be an enemy here disguised as a friend. Ah, Queen of Swords. Six of Cups reversed. Clinging to the past. Nothing stays the same. Some sort of information is coming out. Some sort of truth is coming out. Somebody's getting caught. They may be, they're getting caught doing something. They're getting caught in a lie. It's going to cause a huge disruption. Six of Cups reverse. I don't know if there's been a robbing of innocence or something like that. Six of Cups reverse. Six of Cups reverse. Nothing stays the same. Packing up, leaving home, selective memory. Uh, only wanting to remember the good things, not not acknowledging the uh, reality, right? Anyhow, um, Wheel of Fortune, something is happening. This is a positive change. It is disruptive, though. You may be completely unaware that this is going to happen, or it's happening, or it's happening inside. Something is un inside. The Hermit reversed. A need to think about things. Somebody needs to reflect. There being, there's some sort of lies, there's deception. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is somebody who needs to think fast. They need to be open-minded, look at things from a new perspective. There's something to do with children here. Somebody's been, I don't know if they've been lying about the children or they've been lying about the past. Maybe they've been cheating with the past or something to do with the past. There could be an ex here. King of Wands reversed. King of Wands reversed. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's some sort of truth that is coming out or information. Somebody is getting caught in their lies. May have something to do with the children or the past, like I said. King of Wands reversed. Could be a father figure. Doesn't have to be. Um, this is somebody that doesn't respect. Doesn't respect others. Uh, very self-centered. Unreasonable. Controlling. Uh abusive maybe i wonder if somebody has done something it has something to do with children uh king of wands reversed neglected neglected i don't know if somebody has neglected their children or or something like that six of cups or, or they've they've I don't know. I feel like we have a professional here. I feel like we have a professional here that is that is seeing something. It has to do with I don't know the past or the children or something like that. There's somebody, somebody. I don't know. Somebody has been robbed. They've been robbed, um, and maybe they're. Be, I don't know if they've been robbed of something. Um, the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. She's she's a fast thinker. I need to think fast. Need to be open minded. You may need to sever ties with somebody from your past. Somebody may be severing ties with somebody from their past. There's an aggressive individual here. This person is aggressive. They don't, they're not telling the truth. They're, they're manipulative. This is somebody that is entitled, that is self-centered, that is unreasonable, that, you know, will not listen. This person will not listen for any reason whatsoever. It feels like it's a fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is extremely stubborn. They've been lying about something and they don't like to be questioned. They don't like to be questioned. This person, I feel like this person is dealing with somebody in their past. And there's, there's something that is going to be revealed that causes an uproar. Aura. Come on. Okay. 
Somebody may also be coming clean. They may be coming clean, which causes an upset, causes somebody to be angry. Somebody has, I don't know, it feels like we have somebody here that has neglected their children and they're getting caught. I don't know where that's coming from, but. Or they're upset, or they're upset over it. They're really, really upset. Maybe they're seeing something. They're seeing something because of that hermit reverse, but that when that Wheel of Fortune is, everything changes. Everything is changing, getting a new perspective. We may have somebody here that is angry and that's what's causing them to, to take action. I think it's, it's, there's something that is definitely happening and it is, it is disruptive. It may be a shock to you. It may be a surprise. Five of Cups reversed. Five of Cups reversed is beginning to realize uh, leaving the past hurts behind. There could be somebody that is coming back around that hurt you as well. This could be an apology. But this can also be uh, now focusing on the future. Uh, healing. It's healing. Could be healing a connection with somebody from the past. May even be children. We have somebody here that has been unhealthy. They've been lying. The truth is being seen. Now somebody is very, very, very angry. There's going to be a disruption. I'm not sure if you're going to get some sort of apology. That's what I think this is. I don't know why. Something is happening. I feel like it's going in your favor because the Wheel of Fortune is right next to the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're authentic. You speak the truth. You know the truth. I feel like you're, you're uh, in a good position. I feel like you are in a good position, but there is somebody... I feel like there's somebody from your past that is not, okay? I don't think they're not. Or there's somebody that you are dealing with that has been lying and you know the truth. You see the truth. Um, I feel like there's somebody here that is really, really angry. I feel like they um, are grieving over the loss. And I feel like, I don't know if this person, and then with Five of Cups reverse, maybe it definitely could be an apology from somebody. Um... One more card. Mm, strength. Strength. So this is a card of courage, willpower, discipline. Replacing fear with faith. Mastering emotions. Finding the courage to do something brave. Somebody is going to be doing something brave. They've been grieving over a loss. Underneath it is the Five of Cups reversed. And then we have the King of Wands reversed. That's angry. We have somebody here that is angry. They are upset. They've been struggling with the with the loss. They are, I feel like they are going to be, uh, I don't know, they could be coming clean with the Seven of Swords reversed. Or they're getting caught doing something. Which, which causes a major disruption. This person has been feeling a lot of, uh, internal disruption or they've just experienced something in their life that is uh, I don't know if some of you are dealing with somebody that's going through a midlife crisis anyhow you may have somebody here that's really angry that they didn't see something clearly you know that they were deceived um, they've been crying over the loss they're going to be finding the strength to uh, Or they're going to need to find the strength to overcome whatever this is. Um, replacing that fear with faith. Focusing on the future. Letting go of the past. Building a new foundation. Starting a new chapter. A need to be open-minded. You need to be open-minded. You're going to be starting a new chapter, and it's going to take faith. It's going to, it's going to take... Maybe you have to let go of your own anger. Maybe you need to let go, of, oh, let go of the anger over what was lost. There's definitely a, a disruption here that changes everything. I mean, I can't make that shit up. With the tower and the wheel of fortune, that is a disruption that changes your direction, okay? 
but there's a healing energy that comes with it with that strength card okay there's a healing energy it may be upset it may make you upset but i feel like whoever you're dealing with was was narcissistic i do with the king of wands reverse it doesn't matter what sign it is this person uh wasn't very nurturing. They were, they were unreasonable. They were self-centered. They were entitled. They caused a lot of grief. Somebody may be escaping a situation, you know. They may be just with that seven of swords reversed. They're just, when the going gets tough, they run. They run. They're, they're running, you know. So anyhow, I think that I think for some of you there's going to be a disruption that maybe it forces you to leave the past behind because the 6 of cups is here and that's like yeah. So something is going to happen that is I feel like it's disruptive. It's going to be disruptive, but it brings you positive change because of that wheel of fortune. Scorpio. What do we got for Scorpio? <laughs> the Emperor. The Emperor. So the Emperor is taking charge, right? The, uh, gaining structure, taking a position of authority, uh, making a decision, a hard decision, a factual decision. This may be a ruler, a judge, uh, a boss, a father, but this is a definite decision that is being made. Um, it's also uh, battle ready, be ready, be ready. Um, a definite decision is being made. Um, has to do with stability and structure. The fool, the fool. Now the fool is starting a new journey, starting over from scratch, uh, a new beginning, okay? Some of you may also be dealing with an Aries, just saying. Um, we do have a new beginning here, um, taking charge, really taking charge. Uh, this may be a new job or a new business or something like that, but definitely starting over from scratch. And that means scratch because zero is zero. Okay, zero is not a one, it's not a two. We're starting over from scratch. So starting a new journey. So we do have a new journey that is beginning for you. Somebody is going to be taking charge. They're making a informed decision. Now, whether this is the judge or the, the boss or the father or the masculine or whatnot, a decision is made. Uh, it could also be you. If you're the female watching this, you may be making a decision to just go in a completely new direction because that's what the fool is. Okay, starting over, uh, leaving it all behind, you know, it could be some travel, change of residence, there's a need to uh, have faith, have faith, believe in yourself. This is proudly stepping into new territory. Mm, seven of Wands reverse. Seven of Wands reverse is a uh, change in position, maybe stepping down or losing a position. Maybe that's what happened. This is admitting defeat, quitting, giving up, being taken down. I'm not sure, but this is like the seven of wands reversed. Uh, giving up a position or changing the position, um, admitting it, admitting defeat, starting over. Somebody's going to be starting over. Giving up the fight or losing a battle. King of Swords reversed. Now the King of Swords reversed is a not a good person. Okay, this is somebody that does not respect others. This is a dictator. This is somebody that is ruthless, ignorant, abusive, bully. Seven of Swords, thief, cheater, liar. Cunning, clever. Abusive individual who does not care who they hurt. This person is being judged. 
we definitely have a not a good person here. This person is, I don't know, there, for some of you there could even be some sort of slander or malice with the Seven of Wands reversed and the Seven of Swords. This is somebody that is ruthless, that is, uh, doesn't care at all about feelings. This is somebody that is uh, very deceptive, very cunning, very clever. We have an untrustworthy individual here. I feel like this person is, I wanna say this person's being judged, but, ah, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is somebody that is acting on feelings, listening to their heart, very emotional. We got somebody here that is very cold. They're very cold hearted. They're in their emotions. They're really, really, really in their emotions. It's selfish behavior. Very selfish behavior. We have somebody here that has also been ignoring the truth. They've been lying. They've been lying a lot. They've been lying a lot. Their emotions are really speaking to them though. Doing something risky. Doing some, somebody's going to be doing something risky. They are going to be taking a big risk. This is definitely a big risk. This may be somebody who's not used to expressing emotions. This is somebody that has a hard shell, that has a hard exterior. The Emperor has a very hard exterior, and the King of Swords in reverse does as well. But we have a lot of emotions here with the, with the Knight of Cups. Go lay down over there. Go on. She's thinking about it. Empress reversed. Empress reversed. So the Empress reversed is a lack of love. It's a lack of tender love and care. No unconditional love in pain. We may have a woman that's that's suffering right now. She's in some sort of pain. Maybe she's having sex without love or she doesn't know her value or she's mean-spirited you know the the empress reversed is somebody that uh is very needy very high maintenance uh overly protective uh doesn't nurture things doesn't take care of herself doesn't take care of her children um doesn't take care of anything okay she's very needy especially especially herself she doesn't take care of herself therefore she can't really take care of her children you know if you can't if mama can't take care of herself she can't take care of anybody else right uh empress reversed Looking for a weak woman as well maybe somebody didn't see somebody's value i mean the empress reverse is a weak woman Seven of Swords is looking right at that Empress in reverse. I think that you need to be careful, especially if you are a woman watching this, okay? If you are a woman watching this, you may have an approach with the Knight of Cups right on top of the Empress reverse. Ha! Huh? Right on top of it. The Knight of Cups is somebody that's looking for love. They're looking for something, okay? They're expressing their feelings, you know? They're listening, they're exp Oh, I'm saying all the right things, right? But this person may not be a good person, okay? We got the King of Swords reversed. This is maybe a cheater, it may be a liar, it may be a smiling liar that's looking for a weak woman. I just gotta be honest, especially if you're a woman watching this, okay? So if you're a woman watching this, there, there is somebody that may be making a move, may be making a move with that Knight of Cups. This is, a, this is somebody that is a very, that woos and courts and says the most beautiful words, okay? They really know how to talk. Okay, they may be looking for a woman that doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth. Okay, so I think that you need to be careful. If you are a masculine watching this, I think that you also need to be careful because we have a woman here that may sleep around. The Empress reverse is somebody doesn't, you know, needs attention. Okay, this is somebody that has sex without love, may, you know, be very needy, may be very high maintenance, may be uh, mean spirited, self absorbed. Okay, so I think that. 
when you get the, whenever you get the seven of swords you need to be careful of deception all is not as it seems as you can see I do feel like we have abuse here. I feel like we have somebody here that isn't seeing something clearly. I feel like we have an individual that's going to be changing their position. They may want a fresh start. This person may have ulterior motives. I, this person is going to say all the right things, but I don't think they have good intentions. So I think that you do need to be careful, Scorpio. I feel like you have a new beginning here, an opportunity for a new beginning. But I feel like you're going to need to uh, think about, you know, your value. Think about uh, what relationships are supposed to be. Thinking about uh, whether this is going to add value to your life or not. Um, somebody's going to be changing their position, put it that way. But this person is not a trustworthy individual and this is a scheme or a scam or something like that with the Seven of Swords on, on top of it is the King of Swords reversed. This is somebody that is abusive and they, they're very cunning, extremely cunning. We have a very extremely coming, cunning <laughs> individual here uh, and this person is coming in, okay? They're coming in, okay? And it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be a... Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, with Aries a couple times. This card just fell out. Two of Wands. This is like a sudden return, okay? Um, spur of the moment return. Uh, Anticlimax as well. So I think that it comes and it, it won't stick around. It will not stick around. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to take charge. You're gonna have to. Uh, I feel like you're, you may have to, you're going to be caught off guard. I think that you're going to have to really use your head in this situation. Anyhow, two of wands reverse. This could be a sudden departure as well. Um, playing it safe, but something suddenly happens. A sudden decision it's I know that it's sudden suddenly suddenly coming back around somebody is suddenly coming back around and I don't know this could be a boss could be a father it's a masculine energy whether it's a female or not it's a masculine energy it could be a female that's in her masculine energy she may be looking or he or she is looking for a, a a position of power this person wants to be in power maybe they've lost their power they've lost their position that's what's causing them to take action right now um, somebody's gonna be making a move okay they're gonna be making a move they're gonna be saying all the right things and they're gonna it's almost like it really catches you off guard this person is super sneaky temperance reversed temperance reversed is, is something is off Repeating negative patterns, not learning from the past, not learning from mistakes. This is an imbalance. It is an imbalance. It's disharmony. It's, it's uh, not letting go of the past because the death card comes before this. This is somebody that is resisting. They're resisting. There's there's some sort of imbalance here, uh, repeating negative patterns, uh, inappropriate behavior. This is not a good match. It's not a good mix-up. We may have somebody here that is coming in. This person is frustrated. They're upset. They're maybe they've been uh, rejected. Maybe they've been rejected or they've been let down. They haven't been nurtured. They haven't been taken care of. They're they've got they definitely. This is not somebody that you can trust. I'm sorry. This person will cause upheaval. They will cause disharmony. They're looking for somebody that uh, has not let them go. 
because that temperance reverse is like I'm not accepting that something is over. Maybe like a weak individual. They come a court and somebody is a court and they come on a court and they come a court and and they have no staying power. This is this is not uh, healthy. It's not healthy at all with temperance reversed, the empress reversed. There's no growth here. There's disharmony. It's, it's like come and go, come and go. But anyway, what's this is. You're going to need to protect yourself, put it that way, with the Seven of Wands. You need to take charge. You need to be the boss. You need to defend yourself. You need to protect yourself. You need to protect yourself from abuse, okay? That's the main message here. You're going to be tested. Temperance is a, is a test. It really is. Have you evolved? Have you evolved or not? This is a test. Do you know your value? This is a test. Your, your value is definitely going to be tested with this Empress reversed and the Temperance reversed. This, somebody's going to be testing the waters with you for sure. For sure. This is like a return. This person does not have good intentions. This person is very sly. I feel like this person is a snake. I, but this person speaks all the words that you might want to hear. Um, but but I don't believe that this will lead to any type of uh, happiness. Unfortunately, you're, 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 you need to protect yourself. You need to beat this person at their own game, okay? You're going to need to, uh, I want to say, put the hand up. So this new moon is going to test you. It's going to test your, your evolution. It's going to test your, your uh, will. It's going to test your discipline, okay? That temperance reverse is a lack of discipline. It's not managing feelings, okay? You're going to need to manage your feelings, okay? Are you going to do this again? Are you going to repeat the same patterns? Are you going to, or have you passed the test? Or have you passed the test? So anyway, uh, Scorpio, I believe that you're going to be tested. I feel like you're going to be tested. I also feel like somebody may be getting caught doing something. You know, I don't know if they've been cheating or they've been lying. You know, they may be getting caught, okay? Um, we do have an enemy here disguised as a friend. This person may be doing something deceptive, you know. They want to get their way, you know, and it backfires and it... <sighs> causes disharmony in your relationship it causes disharmony in your life there could definitely be a sudden departure here um just saying so i don't know how that resonates with you um getting out of a situation fast as well so i feel like we have somebody here that may be going somewhere fast There is definitely a, a woman here as well that uh, is very off. Okay, this woman is off with the with the Empress reverse and the Temperance reverse. But it's a male, or we have a male too. Something is off, and it's being seen. It's it's very clear that something is off. You're going to have to make a decision based on your facts, uh, on facts rather than, and I hate to say this, on your heart. I know that you tend to follow your heart, but if something feels off, it is off. So anyway, Scorpio, I think you're going to be dealing with a liar or a cheater or, or something like that. And you're going to need to really manage your feelings and think about your value and make a decision uh, it's probably going to be a spur of the moment decision this ha probably has to do with a lover Sagittarius what do we got for Sagittarius the moon the moon so all is not as it seems right uh, hidden forces. And the star. So the star is a wish being granted. So there is a wish that is going to be granted for you. You may not be aware of it. You may not be aware of it, but a wish is going to be granted. There's, there's hidden forces that are guiding you. There's something below the surface that you don't see. But there's a blessing here, so there's some sort of blessing that is coming. You are probably unaware of it. Um, so 
Yes, so there's a yes. This is what you asked for. So there's a blessing that is coming. There's some sort of protection here. But there is an unclear and difficult path ahead. So there's something that is hidden below the surface. There's guaranteed success around the corner. Some of you may be dealing with some sort of addiction. Addictions? Emperor may have something to do with a father figure or a boss or a leader or you're there's something that is out of control Maybe there's some sort of deception something is out of control. There's some sort of corruption um, Lies deception, but there's a blessing that is coming so this has there's a masculine here that has deserted you or Is deserting you or has abused you in some way? Or this is you that just has lost some sort of control. There's disorganization or uh, improper uh, leadership. Somebody has abused their power in some way. We have Pisces, Aquarius, and Aries here. But a wish is being granted. You may be un Be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for. Eight of Cups reverse. Somebody is coming back around. Somebody may be coming back. I don't know if you've been hoping and praying for something and to, to come back. But the Emperor in reverse can be a, an abusive individual. You know, that can be somebody that is corrupt. You know, a corrupt leader. Somebody that deserts you. Somebody that is above the law. Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, making a move. Somebody's going to be making a move towards you. This is somebody that hurt you. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's coming back around. I think that you've been praying for this. I'm not sure if this person is a narcissist or something like that or a tyrant, you know. Or they have been in the past. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is a need to be open-minded, a need to think fast. You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a decision whether you want to let this person back into your life or not. Or there is a professional here that is aiding in revealing something. I don't know if you've been hoping and praying for justice or something like that. The Queen of Swords is a professional. She examines the evidence, you know, and makes a decision based on the truth. So that's what you're going to have to do. I feel like uh, somebody is seeing something. They're seeing something. Maybe, maybe this person is, has received some sort of information or they've gotten some sort of epiphany. Or they've been, uh, there's some sort of professional here. We have a professional, whether this is a doctor, a lawyer, a counselor, or somebody has given somebody some sort of information. Maybe, and maybe they've revealed some truth about their illusions. You know, the moon is illusion. Maybe they've told them, you know, you were being controlling. You were, you were being a narcissist or you, were, you weren't being fair or something like that. There is corruption here. We do have a professional here. We have a professional that is making a choice, making a decision. There is some sort of addictions that have gotten in the way. There's a wish that is being granted. Somebody may be leaving a situation. They may be going to a better place. They've been thinking about it for a while. They're leaving. They're listening to their heart. Death reversed. Holding on is getting old. Resisting change. Something could definitely be coming back around that you thought was over. It's not over yet. With the death reversed and the eight of cups reversed, we do have somebody here that is seeing an opportunity that they missed or ignored or did not want in the past. They see it very clearly now. There's some sort of clarity. It feels like it's time to go. There's been a lot of resistance. There's been control issues. Somebody's been 
out of control, you know, they've been disorganized, they've made some poor decisions, but there's a healing energy with the star card. Death reverse, resisting change. Something isn't over yet. We have a, we have a, we have a relationship that isn't over yet. Somebody is coming back. You're going to be put in a whether it's you or them or, or you're leaving. Somebody may be leaving, though. They're, it feels like they're leaving a dissatisfying or they left a dissatisfying situation. Making a move, listening to the heart, following the heart. Choosing an opportunity. I want it. It feels like we have somebody here that wants this. They really want it. They want a chance. Devil. The devil. So the devil is temptation. It's lust. And it's right underneath the Knight of Cups. There's a magnetic attraction here between you and somebody else. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Aries. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, whatever. Anyhow, the devil is lust, it's temptation, it's, it's uh, desire, desiring, looking for love. Somebody has a strong desire for a relationship or for love or for attention. They're looking for, they're going to be making a move. King of Wands reverse, and, and we have the Emperor reversed as well. So I think that you do need to be careful. Be careful what you wish for. That's the truth. Okay, that and that's the Queen of Swords. That's the truth. Be careful what you wish for. We have somebody here that appears to be a tyrant or something like that, okay? Be careful what you wish for. That's the truth. <laughs> that is the truth, okay? You better, you better be careful what you wish for, okay? Be careful. Something is coming back around. I think you've been hoping and praying for it to come back around, whatever it is. King of Wands reversed. King of Wands reversed next to the devil. This may be lust. This may be a sexual connection, a magnetic attraction, right? You know? Um... You may have thought that it was over. It's not. A death card reversed up there. This person hasn't changed. They haven't changed. They may say they have changed because it's a smooth talker, right? Very smooth. Very, very. Um, with the Knight of Cups. Okay, this person, they are charming, charismatic, probably sexy to you. There's some sort of attraction here. Okay? It's a sexual attraction, by the way. Anyhow, it's lust. Anyhow, it's not over yet. So it's not over. It's not over. Something isn't over. Angry, upset, king of wands, reversed. Uh, egotistical. Anger issues. Hot. Hot. This person may have anger issues. They, they may explode at any time. You know, whenever you, you know, whenever they don't get what they want, they probably, you know, explode or run away, you know. Anyhow, the King of Wands reversed. That is uh, acting on feelings because the Knight of Cups is right there. Holding on is getting old. Resisting change has not changed. Somebody is coming around. And it could be you. It could be you that hasn't changed. There's lust. There's sex. There's a sexual addiction here. There is definitely a sexual addiction here that has not changed. Somebody is going to be tempted. They may be judged. We have a sexual addiction here for sure. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Hmm. I feel like some truth is going to come out about a sexual addiction or about an angry individual. The Queen of Swords, she delivers the truth. Somebody's been, some sort of truth is coming out. I feel like we have somebody here that has some sort of sexual addiction here. They've been uh, wooing and courting other another person and 
it isn't over yet and perhaps it gets revealed that's going to not be for everybody um death card reverse not over we also have somebody here that is ill okay they're ill they're sick they may be in this could be like a near-death experience because of an addiction there is addictions here there's addiction there's an addiction here that needs to end okay it needs to end I don't know if it's a drinking addiction or a drug addiction or a sex addiction there's an addiction here that needs to end Somebody's been struggling to walk away from it. It keeps on coming back. It feels like it comes and goes. It comes and goes. It comes and goes. And there's a need to master those emotions and walk away from it. But somebody can't walk away from it. So there could be an outburst ahead. It could be an angry outburst. An emotional outburst. There's, there could even be a disaster. When you get the death card... Whether it's upright or reverse, in the devil card together, that can be a disaster. I mean, it can be, you know, an, an ending of some sort. It can be. It can be a disaster, okay? Because of an addiction, somebody refusing to take charge. We have the emperor reversed, refusing to take control of an addiction. Somebody's probably going to end up angry. I feel like they're going to be angry. They're going to be upset that they thought that they were going to get some sort of relationship or something. Because we have, the, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Devil, and then we have the King of Wands reversed. That's like, no, no, it's just sex. Or no, it's just an addiction. Or no, it's not going to bring you emotional fulfillment. You know, it ends just as quickly as it comes, right? There's been some sort of delayed ending here, okay? There has been a delayed ending. We have somebody here that has been hoping and praying for somebody to come around. This person has addictions. So beware. Be careful what you wish for. This person may be coming. Yeah, it looks like they are. If it's you that has the addictions, you're, you may be headed somewhere, but there's a need to take control. Things could get out of control. So we do have somebody here that is out of control. Okay, just saying. Somebody may be coming in, coming back around. They may say that something has ended that really hasn't ended. Okay, be careful what you wish for. Because the Knight of Cups is next to the Death card reverse. It's like they come in and they tell you all the right things. Oh, yeah, it's over. It's over with that. You know, it's over. This person is a smooth talker. They lack respect for others. The King of Wands reverse. This is somebody that doesn't respect other people. You know, they may say that it's over. They may say that they left. Maybe you've been hoping and praying for this person to come around. You know, this person um, has control issues. They have ego issues. They have some sort of, I don't know if it's a sex addiction, a drug addiction, an alcohol addiction, whatever it is. This person has some sort of addiction. I feel like you've been hoping and praying for this person to come back around or vice versa. You know, maybe, maybe you're the one with the addiction. I don't know. But this is not going to end well. You are going to be tempted. You are. That devil card is temptation. You are going to be tempted. Maybe to rekindle with somebody that... This addiction, whatever it is. Be careful what you wish for. Something is coming back around that you... I don't know if you're obsessed... Devil is obsession. On top of that is the Knight of Cups. Either you're obsessed or they're obsessed. There's some sort of obsession here. Be careful what you wish for. Oh my God. What is this bringing in for you? One last card. Ah. Not a commitment. Not happiness. This could be a sad farewell. I mean, we do have the Four of Wands reversed, the Death card right next to it in reverse. There may be a sad farewell here. You know, there's angry, there's anger, there's 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 uh, temptation, there's addictions. There could, you know, for some of you, there could be, I mean, I hate to say this, but I mean, hopefully there's not like an overdose.
anyhow, Sagittarius, four of wands, reverse is the overall outcome. That's not happy. It's a sad farewell. The party is over. It's a messy situation. Uh, no commitment. Be careful what you wish for. Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? The Fool. A new journey begins for you, Capricorn. Leaving something behind, starting over from scratch. Fresh start. Leaving, leaving something behind for real. This is like done. Starting a new journey. New journey begins. Empress, birth of a new life. Could even have to do with pregnancy and there could be a new baby here coming. Um, but this is the birth of a new life, right? This is a blessing. Beautiful, beautiful new life begins. Starting over. This is the rebirth, the renewal. So this is great. It's time. It's time for you to start over. It's time for, for happiness. It's time for freedom. This is freedom. It's fertility. It's a very fertile time. It's a time of growth. You are starting a new journey. Some of you are getting a new baby, whether this is a new baby, which is pregnancy, or it's a new animal, it's a new boyfriend or girlfriend, or whatever it is. We definitely have a new baby here. I mean, whatever you consider a baby. That's a new baby. New life. New life. Ooh, King of Swords reversed below you. So is, you may have learned a lesson from some sort of individual that was very abusive. This is abuse, my stomach. Sorry. This is an abusive, uncaring, cold-hearted SOB. Okay. So whoever this person is, this person is an abuser. This person is an abuser. They are uh, corrupt, clueless, ignorant, bully. Bully. Bad news, bad news. But that's over. That's over. Uh, Eight of Pentacles. Work, effort, trying hard. Trying hard to create. You know, I feel like you are putting in a lot of effort to create this new life. I mean, you may have received some bad news or you were dealing with some sort of abuse in the past. I definitely have a new beginning here. You're working really hard. Your hard work is going to pay off. You are going to receive a blessing from this hard work. You're creating something. We got the Empress next to the Eight of Pentacles. We, you are, you're, this is like creating. Ooh, Three of Wands. Get prepared. Get prepared for an arrival. You better. You better, especially with that Empress. Get prepared. There's an arrival here. Your hard work is going to pay off. The future looks bright with that Three of Wands. That is, uh, bags packed, ready to go. The future looks bright. Uh, hope for the best very optimistic the decision is made a decision is going to be made now remember this is this is the new moon reading this can happen in the next few months okay um get prepared get prepared your hard work is going to pay off this travel indicated here or you're about to receive some sort of blessing something could be coming in as well get prepared Oh my goodness gracious Capricorn the wheel of fortune this is great this is very positive this is good luck this is luck is on your side this is being at the right place at the right time this is destined change of course it's very positive change very fortunate get prepared there's a fortunate event here this is good this could be a chain of events that affect your life in a very positive way Hard work paying off. Get prepared. Get prepared. I feel like you're going somewhere. The end of a cycle. The end of a cycle. Things are happening. They're happening. And it's very positive. The end of an abuse, abusive situation. King of Swords reversed. We're dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. But there's been some sort of bullying or 
abuse, abuse of power. Mm, the end of a conflict. Five of Wands reverse. This conflict is ending. Drama. The end of a dramatic situation. Uh, the end of a tense situation. Things getting better. Relief. You're going to see some relief. Maybe it's even financial relief. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is fortune. And next to the Eight of Pentacles, hard work paying off. You're creating a new life. This is beautiful. The end of some sort of tense situation. Some of you are traveling. You're, you're, maybe there could be a change of residence with the Fool and the Three of Wands. It's traveling, maybe get, taking a vacation, going somewhere, getting some sort of blessing as well. There's definitely a blessing here. There could be money coming your way with that Wheel of Fortune next to the Eight of Pentacles. Mm, tower reversed. Now the Tower reversed is an unavoidable change. Building a new foundation. Um, conflict over. The end of a chapter where there has been a lot of disruption in your life because it's underneath the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe there's been a conflict that has changed everything. Maybe there was a fight or a disruption that just changed everything and this is a blessing. I feel like we have a blessing here. The Empress is a blessing. The Wheel of Fortune is a destined change of course. It's an event and that tower is an event. Maybe there's been some conflict or fight that just changes everything. Get prepared or there's just been some sort of competition, whatever. The competition is over. The conflict is over. The situation is over. Now you're free. You're definitely, because the fool is free, free freedom from abuse or freedom from something. Now you're about to receive something. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Now this may have to do with a relationship. This is an unstable business or, or family life or home life. Losing it all. I don't know if you have lost it all with the tower. It's right next to the tower reversed or you had to move or you moved or, you know, there's been some sort of financial loss. But, because that's below you, but we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Pentacles, which is your hard work paying off. This is a fortunate. Whatever has happened is actually a blessing in disguise because something is arriving that is going to make you extremely happy with that Empress card. Things are about to take off. That's what I just heard. Things are about to take off. Page of Cups reversed. Now, I don't know if there's been trouble with a child or somebody may have been, if somebody has been struggling to get pregnant. I feel like that's going to change. Maybe you've received bad news. Maybe it has to do with a child or it's next to the King of Swords reversed or there's been some sort of unrequited love situation or there's been issues with a child. Maybe you, I don't know if there's been issues with getting along with a child or something like that. But anyhow, the Page of Cups reversed is unrequited love. It's tears. It's a drama queen. Some of you have been dealing with a drama queen. Or somebody that is uh, very emotional. That you know something about a child here as well. Yeah, some of the there could even be some child abuse, or somebody could be saying that. Anyhow, um, putting in a lot of effort, moving forward, get prepared. There's going to be a change. A conflict is ending. There is a fight that ends it all. There's a fight that ends it all. You are about to receive a blessing. You are about to be starting a new journey. This is very exciting. It happens extremely suddenly. There could be a fight over money or something like that. And I don't know who this is with, but I feel like we have somebody here that hasn't been seeing clearly. There's been a lack of clarity. They've been confused. They may have made a poor decision, um, maybe between a woman and a child or something like that. There's going to be a disruption and it's going to change everything. The conflict ends and it brings some sort of blessing, probably a lot of peace, freedom. Anyhow, get prepared. Get prepared for some movement because things are going to change and they are definitely going to change for the better. That's what it is. This is the end of a tense situation. 
where there's been a lot of instability ten of pentacles reversed next to the tower reversed this is this is like some sort of ruin maybe financial ruin financial loss you know fighting over the money mm, six of swords moving on going somewhere this is the traveling to a new destination headed to a better place somebody is definitely leaving a big huge conflict tense situation where there was a lot of uh instability and disorganization and money problems are leaving it behind they're about to see it. things get better things are about to get better capricorn for you but but <laughs> it always a but that tower being here tells me that there is going to be disruption that moves you to a better place okay so that that, that you, you can't avoid it okay it's unavoidable there's an event there's a chain of events that is happening that moves you to a better place or or moves you forward okay um there could even be some help arriving so i'm not sure if there is help arriving for some of you um or somebody's traveling. If somebody is traveling to a better place. It's like they're they're they, it's like they're they're going to a better place. They've been in an unstable foundation where it's been there's been a lot of uh, conflict and competition and fighting and tension and uh, financial issues. And it feels like somebody's been working really hard. They're trying really hard to. Um, bring stability to their lives but they got somebody who's been working against them i think that there's going to be a conflict that ends it all and moves them to a better place so anyhow you have a blessing that is coming capricorn you may not you may not know that it's coming but it is get prepared get yourself prepared now get yourself prepared now you have a blessing that is coming if you have to leave a situation where there is conflict and competition and drama then i suggest you do so because you got something that is coming that needs if you think about a new baby would you put a baby in a situation where and some people would because they don't know any better or they're young or who knows what in a situation where there's fighting and conflict all the time you know where there's and that's just like a metaphor get yourself prepared it's time to free yourself up and get yourself to a place of inner peace and get ready for what is meant to be for you, where there's peace and harmony, where you can nurture and, and be loved. And I don't know where this is coming from. Get yourself prepared, Capricorn, because something is arriving that you need to be ready for, whether it's an actual baby or it's a new love or it's a new whatever it is okay you're you get yourself prepared now if you're in a tense tense situation you need to get out of it because there's something coming in that is going to put in effort okay this is this and you're going to need to put in effort okay this is going to be work but it, it, if you think about the six of swords, it's peace and it's peaceful, it's peaceful, it's harmonious, it's, it's a good place to be. Something very fortunate is happening for you. It is. That Wheel of Fortune is a fortunate event. But, it, but with the tower there, it does tell me that it, it's a loss, okay? It's, it's a fortunate event. It's a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. And you may lose something of financial value, okay? But it's actually a blessing because it, it brings relief. The Five of Wands reversed is relief. This loss brings relief. Now, now, you're, now you're free. Now you're, now you're free, so... Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? Death. So death is an ending that leads to a new beginning. This is a profound life change. Right? So we do have a profound life change here for you. Your life is about to change. It's a big one. <laughs> and it may be sudden. This is sudden change. 
universe is in control. So yeah, Aquarius, you have a sudden change here. It could be very disruptive. Okay, death is a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. You may be building a new foundation in the future. This could have to do with your body. It could have to do with your relationship. It could have to do with your job. Whatever this is, it is sudden change. It is big. It is huge. Okay, it's something you have avoided. You've avoided this change for some reason. Maybe because it's disruptive, right? Change is disruptive. It's uncomfortable. may come in out of nowhere. Could be a complete shock to your system. Could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with a Scorpio. You may also be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but this is quick, something happening fast again. This could be a quick exit, could be a sudden departure, could be a sudden arrival. This is putting plans in action. There's no stopping what is going to happen. Okay, this is happening. Okay, there's going to be a change. It's going to happen fast. There could be some information that comes out, some sort of truth. But this is definitely putting plans in action. It's time to go. It's rushing. It's in a hurry. Things happen. Okay, something is happening. Strength. Yeah. You're going to need strength and courage and willpower and discipline to get through this. Okay, because this is big. Um, could be dealing with a Leo. We have uh, Aries. Scorpio and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but massive courage will be needed. Okay, something is happening. It is, it's like a rude awakening of some sort. Oh, Queen of Cups just fell out. So it could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, mastering emotions. You will need to master your emotions right next to the Strength card. Uh, so we have a woman that is turning her back on a false sense of security. She's turning her back on a foundation. She's ending things. She's ending things. She's ending something, something in her life. I feel like she's made up her mind. Her mind is made up. Doing something brave, doing something bold has to do with wish fulfillment. Okay. Um, Looking for love, looking for something more. Six of Cups reverse. Six of Cups reverse is freedom from obligation. Um, I don't know if there's been some sort of abuse, maybe neglect, child neglect, child abuse. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Six of Cups reverse, clinging to the memories of the past, leaving the past behind. Um, Packing up, leaving, going somewhere, leaving the past behind. Somebody is dealing. We have a woman that is dealing with a man that is very arrogant. This man is arrogant. This man, uh, I don't know this man, what this man does, but he appears to, to be very charming, very clever, very charismatic. Probably has lots of suitors. Maybe dealing with the past, maybe still communicating with the past. Magician reversed. A magician reversed is no success, lack of resources, manipulation, trickster, thief, liar, maybe even a pathological liar. Somebody's been lying about their past. It's right next to the Six of Cups reverse. They haven't been telling the truth, but they are dealing with an intuitive because we do have an intuitive here that knows the truth, even though there's been some miscommunication or lack of communication or withheld communication. Somebody's been lying about their past or lying about their children or something like that or some sort of abuse.
we have somebody here that is looking for wish fulfillment, right? And, and there's been some sort of neglect or abuse in the past. Mm. No, there's a no answer here. No chance in reconciliation. We have somebody here that's, that has not been having success with an individual. I feel like this person is uh, wants to have their cake and eat it too. It's like they want to still continue to deal with, to talk with the past or be part of the past connection, but they want, they want to have their cake and eat it too. Mm. Ten of Pentacles in the future. Ten of Pentacles is long-term stability. It's financial success. It's financial... Uh, it's flourishing, flourishing abundance in the future. There's been a lack of resources. Maybe somebody has been abused, taken advantage of, you know, for the resources, for the money, you know. But I do feel like we have somebody here that is finding their strength and their courage and their discipline to uh, move on from something that they have been holding on to. Maybe they've been holding on to it just for the children. Anyhow, this is the end of a false sense of security. There's going to be a disruption. Somebody is saying or doing something that causes this change, okay? Trust me, they are. There will be a need to find your strength to overcome this hurdle, this this downfall, this, this disruption, because it's going to happen, okay? I feel like we have somebody here that is going to definitely find their inner strength to move on. I feel like, and they're headed towards stability, um, long-term stability, but they've been lacking because they were clinging to the past. Oh, God. Maybe it's memories. Maybe it has to do with the childhood, you know? Sometimes people don't know they, because of their childhood. You know, they weren't taken care of as a child, so they don't know their value, so they, they stay in false senses of security, false relationships, because they never did know their value, you know? They want to prove themselves their whole life. No more past. No more. No more. I feel like there's somebody that is reaching out. They're reaching out and they're, they're expressing feelings and it may change everything. It changes the dynamics of a connection. The end of a false sense of security. Things are going to happen and they're going to change fast. Somebody's definitely lying about a past connection, just so you know. Whether it's you or them. And that's who they really, really want to be with. Oh, two. Ten of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. So holding on to a burden, holding on to what they have. But there's a lot of lack. The five of pentacles is lack, it's, it's, it's neglect, it's not having enough, it's a negative change. Somebody's been uh, probably going downhill financially because they're holding on to something that is weighing them down. Whether it's dead weight or it's a job or it's a person, you know, they've been led in the wrong direction. They see themselves as a victim trying to prove something, trying to make something work that, you know, isn't giving them what they need. Holding on to lack. Somebody is holding on to a victim mentality for one thing. They're holding on to something. It's like they're begging for this. Begging. Somebody is begging. It's like they're begging for help. And they're probably begging for help from above. And, and the, the universe is listening because the universe of the tower is saying, Okay, you're begging for help? But you're lying to yourself? Wish fulfillment is around the corner, but somebody's going to be letting go of something that they were holding on to that they've been lying about. Stability is in the future, but it comes after a no, okay, because that magician is a no. It's an it's a unplanned loss. It is. trying really hard to hold on to this. But now it's overwhelming. Because it's haunting. Four of Wands reverse is an unhappy commitment. It's a sad farewell. It's trouble in paradise. Could be, you know, the end of a marriage. 
cancellation of an event, cancellation of an engagement, withdrawn invitation, wish I was anywhere but here. Change in residence. Okay, the end. A false sense of security, things are gonna crash, it's gonna crumble, something's gonna happen fast. You're gonna need to find the strength to master your emotions and deal with whatever this is. Holding on is not gonna be applicable. Um, this is a loss. We go from the Ten of Wands to the Five of Pentacles. It is a loss, it is a loss. But in the end, it leads to stability. It leads to flourishing success. Somebody hasn't found it within themselves to take action. They haven't. That's the magician reverse. They've, they've given their power away, you know. Anyhow, I do believe we have somebody here that is going to receive an offer that their heart wants. Okay, their heart wants it. Maybe from somebody from the past could cause a major disruption. Something could also be said or done that forces somebody out of a false sense of security. I think it either has to do with children or somebody from the past that has resurfaced. And it's like you can't ignore the feelings. The feelings are there. We also have somebody here that is, has been lying about their stability. They really aren't as stable as they say that they are. I feel like we have an unsuccessful reun re reunion. It's weird to say. It's like it's hard to. It's like somebody's trying to reconcile. They're trying to reunite with somebody. They're trying to make something work with the person that they're with, and it's not successful because it's not bringing them the abundance that they need. And there's a whole lot of inner deception about the connection. And I feel like it's going to split apart. It's just going to, the whole thing is going to split. It's going to split right apart. I feel like we have somebody here that's going to be doing something or saying something that causes it to be seen. The truth comes out. The truth gets seen. And it causes a huge disruption that forces somebody to let go of what they've been hanging on to so they can have that ultimate abundance. Now, the ultimate abundance just isn't love. It's love and financial abundance. It's love and peace. You know, it's all of the, it's everything. Um, lack of resources, clinging to the past, holding on for dear life, lacking. We have a negative change here, negative financial change. Things are, somebody's trying really hard to rebuild or to build a false sense of security when it's time to move on. Oh my God, one more card. We do have a, I feel like we have somebody here that is turning their back. They're saying no, nope, nope. I want to say no. We do have justice in reverse on the bottom. This is a, a this is a well. There's some dishonesty here. We have lies here. It's an injustice. It's unfair treatment. Somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody's not telling the truth. We have a liar, we do, with a magician reverse as well. Somebody's lying about who they're dealing with, okay? Six of Cups is right underneath it. We have a liar here. Now this is a, this is like a decision not going in somebody's favor, right? It's a decision maybe not going in your favor. I don't know. I mean, this is like a unfair, this is a, an injustice, it's lies, it's deception. Somebody's not telling the truth. They're not telling the truth. We may even have a thief here. Things are going to change fast. Oh, 
Oh, I just cut it to the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is crime, you know? It's exposed. Something is going to be exposed. Somebody's behavior, their inappropriate behavior is going to be exposed. Anyhow, Aquarius, I feel like you are headed towards abundance. The last card out there is the Ten of Pentacles. That is flourishing success. But before that is the Magician reversed. That is a no answer. It's, it's uh, a lack of awareness that there's some sort of deception here. I think that you've been holding on to somebody that from your past or they've been holding on to somebody from their past. Maybe you've been completely unaware of it. There's something that is going to be revealed that causes a major disturbance in your life and forces uh, some movement. And that's what I got for Aquarius. And it does bring abundance in the end. There's The past is very prominent here. Pisces. high priestess sorry some of you are dealing with a high priestess or you're in that energy where you know things right this is very observant very reflective an inner knowing a sixth sense right it's like you know things highly intuitive ice or you're dealing with an intuitive judgment so this is karma this is karma this is a judgment call this is being judged um, a final decision the end of things so if you know that something is coming to an end, judgment is going to be passed. So there is karma here. There is judgment. There's an inner knowing, um, observing, reflecting. There is some sort of observance here, being judged, the end of things. Maybe even a, an epiphany. Somebody may be getting some sort of an epiphany. They may be getting some sort of knowledge from above you know or inner knowledge this is definitely an awakening maybe a spiritual awakening going through a spiritual awakening a spiritual knowing there is a judgment that is going to be passed we do have the past here as well judged for the past making a judgment call using your intuition the end of things Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands is messages going back and forth. It's fast forward movement. It's things happening. Get ready. Get ready for some movement. Life is about to change. Judgment is the end of a trial. It's where the judgment is passed. It's consequences. It's accountability. Somebody's about to be held accountable for their actions. Now, the Eight of Wands is fast forward movement. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready for judgment to be passed. However, are you to make a decision? This is a final decision. Somebody's making a decision. Ah, the Tower. Unavoidable change. This could be a shock. It could be sudden. This cannot be avoided. A lot of people are going to tell you this is avoidable because that's what you want to hear. This was avoidable up until now. Now there's going to be movement. There is. It's going to happen fast. Something's going to happen. Um, this is the end. It is the end. It's the end of the trial. Okay, time's up. Has to do with messages. You know, messages or we have a messenger here. Maybe you know there's a th something this is about to happen. You know there's going to be a disruption. You know things are going to change. Ah, Knight of Wands reversed. Now, the Knight of Wands reversed is somebody that does not like restrictions. You know, this is somebody that has no staying power. They come and go as they please. They're very spontaneous. They act impulsively. They may even have a bad reputation. This person um, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be a sudden departure right next to the tower. It definitely could be a sudden departure. Or this may be somebody that has is very angry. We may have an angry, somebody that's angry. This could be an angry outburst next to the tower. Okay, there's anger, there's outburst, there's, there's uh, temperamental here. Um, 
You may be sensing that something is about to happen. If you are, you are probably correct. There is somebody here that may have some issues. They repeat what they do. They, they repeat negative patterns. Um, they fly off the handle really, really fast. Somebody may be flying off the handle um, or getting out of a situation extremely fast with that Knight of Wands reverse. There could definitely be a sudden departure. could also be a sudden arrival. Um, very feisty energy. So this is somebody that is very... Uh, I want to say you need to be prepared because of that tower reverse. Be prepared for somebody to come flying in out of nowhere, okay? Or getting out of a situation out of nowhere. Things happen fast. They, this is like a fast moving energy, extremely fast. Eight of Wands reverse, Tower and the Knight of Wands reverse. I mean, come on now. This is something happening extremely fast. And the judgment is the is a life-changing decision. It's absolution. It is the end of a false sense of security. It's the end of a false foundation. It's the end of no movement. Put it that way. Because there's definitely going to be some, some movement here. Um, I wonder if there's somebody here that is obnoxious. Ooh, now we get the High Priestess reversed. So this is a lack of awareness. It's unaware. A secret is about to be revealed. May not be what you think, because you may think that you know, but this may be something else. There's gonna be a shakeup. It's been avoidable up until now. Get ready. <laughs> Get ready for some action. I don't think you know exactly what it is. You may sense that something is coming, but it, and it definitely is. High Priestess reverse, lack of awareness. A secret is about to reveal. There is somebody here that is fly by the seat of their pants. When the going gets rough, they go going. Anyhow, um, this is somebody that seeks attention. Very attention-seeking individual. Somebody may be getting thrown out. Or they get caught. You know, they get caught, you know, with their pants down. Ten of Swords reverse. Now, the Ten of Swords reverse is freedom, it's liberation, but this is as low as you can go. This is the worst has happened. There's chronic problems here. We got somebody here that has some chronic issues. They're never going to change. Maybe it's a sex addiction. It's some sort of addiction, perhaps. Um, there's going to be fireworks. Get prepared for the fireworks. There is definitely going to be some fireworks. Um, I praised this reverse. Completely unaware. Somebody is hiding something. This is as low as you can go. This is as low as you can go. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is the future looks bright. <laughs> Get prepared. Get prepared. There's either an arrival or a departure here, and we can see that with the Knight of Wands in reversed. Okay. Get prepared. Things are definitely going to change. Um, there is also something that may be coming back around. When you get the Ten of Swords reversed, you thought it was over. It's not over. Somebody could be coming in and causing a huge disruption in your life. You never thought, you never saw it coming. You thought this was over. It's not. And this could be somebody from the past. You know, I don't know. The judgment can be a past in, with the tower underneath it, the past resurfacing, resurfacing. There may even, this may even be karmically related. Whatever is happening, it's disruptive energy. Um, it may force something. It may force you to see the light, force you to see things for what they are. Um, forced change, unavoidable up until now. It could be a permanent loss, just saying. Uh, the high priestess reverse is unaware, unaware, keeping a secret. A secret has been kept. Now the secret is about to be re revealed. We have somebody here that has been suffering. They have been in a lot of pain. They're now going to be acting aggressively. That Knight of Wands reverse is aggressive behavior. It's obnoxious. It's obnoxious. This is a surprise. It definitely is a surprise. Get ready. 
Anyhow, three of wands, reverse, bags packed, ready to go. It's time to go. Time to go. Somebody's going somewhere. They can't take it anymore. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Three of swords reversed. Three of swords reversed is leaving the past hurts behind on the road to recovery. All right? And that, it makes sense right next to the three of wands, okay? This is somebody that is going somewhere. They're leaving the past hurts behind. It's like traveling to a new destination. It is. Goodbye, heartache. Goodbye, pain. It's over. It's over. It is over. Ten of swords reverse. It's freedom. It's liberation. Freedom from restrictions. I feel like you've been in a restrictive situation. Now there's some sort of disruption that breaks you free. You knew that it was coming, but you had to face it. Maybe you were too afraid to face it. But here it is, right in your face. Ah, the lovers. Unexpected choice in love, right? So that's a choice. That's a choice. It's a choice in regards to, do you want to be with this one? Do you want to be with that one? Do you want to be in a relationship at all? Do you want to be single? What's it going to be? So this has to do with a partnership. It has to do with who you're with. This is going to happen suddenly. This is a sudden change in regards to a partnership. Leaving behind a partnership Choosing another option for some of you that's underneath the Three of Wands. Leaving it behind. Somebody may be choosing another option. It could happen extremely spontaneous. Somebody may be, I don't know if they're having sex with somebody else and they get caught or whatnot. It doesn't have to be sex, but I think we have a sudden departure here. Um, get prepared. Get prepared, okay? You may be unaware. For some of you, there's a new lover here, okay? There is a new lover here. Um... This does have to do with a union. It does have to do with a partnership. But get prepared. I think that you know that something is coming. The answer is yes. Something is coming. Your life is about to change in a very big way. Um, the worst is over. It's about to be with that Ten of Swords reverse. This is breaking free. Breaking free. Going to a better place. Traveling. Some of you may be going to a distance. Traveling out of distance. Three of Wands is like that can be distant, long distance travel. Going somewhere. Leaving it all behind. You know, there is a lover here. There is a lover here. So this does have to do with a lover. Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. That's what I got, Pisces. Good luck.